Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another Vlogmas video. This series is kind of killing me a little bit. <laughs> I've reached the like over the halfway mark and I kind of realized as I was putting all of these together and I think someone pointed this out to me that I could have done it in a little bit of a different format. So I think next year what I would do is like combine the Vlogmas days. So I would do like 12 videos instead of 24 videos and kind of do like one and two, three and four, all of that like together but that aside it's been a lot of work but I hope you guys are really enjoying them so far and yeah there isn't much to go really this is my last week at work for the year and that'll make my life a little bit easier next week because then I have like all day every day to just finalize a couple of really fun vlogs before we are literally at Christmas Day which I absolutely cannot wait for but I thought for today's video we could wrap some presents together because I love gift giving and wrapping presents and stuff is definitely my love language. I really, really love making them look beautiful and being able to give someone something that I know they're probably just going to tear it open, but I want it to look really beautiful as well as the item that I've got them inside. So. If it's my parents or my boyfriend, stop watching this video, please, because otherwise you're going to know what I got you. And don't think that I won't know if you've watched it, because if you don't look surprised when I give you your present, I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> so I thought this might also help some of you guys out because I'm going to show you what I got for my mom, my dad and my partner. So um, if you are still struggling to think of what to get for people, I personally feel that men are like notoriously hard to buy for. So I think I did pretty well finding some relatively unique stuff this year but anyway thought we could do that together and it might give you some ideas if you haven't wrapped your presents yet either I normally would literally do it on Christmas Eve but this year I'm choosing to be a little bit more organized especially because um, Jazz literally opened the cupboard where his present was in the other day and I don't think he saw it but it's kind of was hidden behind some stuff but I'm like I need this wrapped so that it's just like not sitting out there so that's the plan for today and while we're doing that we can just like have a little sit down chat a little bit of a life update and I can give you an update on the brow lamination this is kind of how they're looking now that it's been I don't know like a week or something so I think that looks a lot better they really actually suit my face and it's nice to not have to like fill in my eyebrows every day as well so would definitely recommend that if you guys have never tried it because I was literally putting so much like sort of product and powder and like setting things through my brows and now I literally just like use a spoolie and they're done so that's been very convenient but let me go and get all of the stuff I can show you all of the little things I'm using for my wrapping being in my style, it's going to be a little bit boho, so we'll put that together. And a super quick reminder as well, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I put up new videos every single week. Very quickly as well, before I get up, if you are someone who doesn't quite want to let go of your loungewear in the post kind of lockdown world that we're in right now, but you still want to look really nice and put together. I have the perfect summer solution for you. I just got this set from H&M, not sponsored or anything. I literally just bought it. The top was $15 and the bottoms were $15. And it's this like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like this ribbed material. And honestly, this is the most comfortable set. So it's just like a longer bike short and this like, singlet top with these cute thin straps and i've literally just paired it with an oversized old shirt that i had from cotton on and it is so unbelievably comfortable but if you put this with like white sneakers or even just some like black slides or something it would be a really cool way to like head out and look put together but be so comfortable and like weather appropriate for summer as well okay so in terms of what i've got for wrapping i have two different types of wrapping paper these were literally very inexpensive I think one of them was like $3 from Woolworths and the other one was from Kmart. So I've got a solid gold plain kind of color one and then I have this other white one that says merry and bright on it. So I thought these would look really nice contrasted together because I can stack presents by wrapping one in the solid color and then one in this color that sort of has the gold running through it as well. And I also have a couple of, bouncing out of my hands, but I've got a couple of little Christmas baubles. And I think these can be really cute little accents to like tie onto presents as well. So I'm gonna pop them aside. Uh, if you watched my little crafting video, I also did a little beaded wreath. And so I also have some of those little crafty beads that are like left over as well. So might use those to like tie onto the present. 
I have, oops, everything is falling at the moment. I've got some of these little gold kind of flower looking things that could be good to wrap onto a present. Um, I, if you can't tell by now, I definitely like gold. I just think it's such a beautiful festive color and really, really classic looking as well. I kind of am not super into like the red and green kind of thing, but, and then I've got this, um, like, you know, the classic, sort of frilly stuff that you kind of like use the scissors and make it like really beautiful to wrap around the presents. And then I also found this random, I've kind of just got like a box of craft stuff and like things if I get like PR, I might like keep some of the bags because sometimes people send stuff and I feel bad like throwing it all away. So I actually have this little Hessian bag and I thought that I could chop it up and use little bits of the Hessian to kind of pop some of those things onto. So I might either like hot glue gun it down or just like thread it over like this kind of stuff but we'll see but I think that's kind of like a really cute palette of materials and things to play with so now I'm gonna go and grab the presents and we can get started In terms of gifts, my dad is probably by far the easiest person to buy for. He is Holden obsessed. He's always had a Holden car. And I saw this cute little calendar. I think it was only $10 at Big W and he has had Holden's his entire life. So I thought this was kind of cool. It's just a calendar of all the little classic cars. And I also got him something he would never get himself because he is a very simple man and he just kind of likes getting things that are really good value. But I thought he is always writing notes and drafting things out. So I've got him this beautiful plain notebook with his initials on it. And I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. So it's just from the Daily Edited. I'm sure you guys have all heard of that brand before, but I just ordered it online and I thought that would be something really nice that he can keep on his desk. And whenever he's writing, Writing things down you know he's retired now so he can just kind of chill and do his plans for the house and the garden and things and they come in these gorgeous packages already so I'll wrap these two up separately so I can still get my kind of contrasted paper thing and then for my mum she loves Rocky Road and so do I. I definitely got that uh, sweet tooth from her. So I got the classic Daryl Lee Rocky Lee Road. I remember when these stores used to exist. I don't think they do at all anymore, but it was always my favorite place to go before like going to a movie. When we grew up in Sydney, like Miranda Shops was our local shopping center. And we'd always go and get like Rocky Road or like a big lollipop or something. And I kind of feel a little bit sad for the brand that their store doesn't exist anymore because they also do those really good um, like Christmas puddings as well. But anyway, so I've got her that. And then I also bought her this, which is if you guys follow Georgie Stevenson, you would already know of the brand Naked Harvest because that is her um, supplements kind of business. And Moon Milk, honestly, I had the chocolate one and I've been taking it for like over a year not sponsored or anything but I just love this product so it's full of some incredible ingredients that really help you relax so there is a ton of organic things in here and magnesium and all sorts of good stuff but this one is rocky road flavor so I actually bought this for myself the other week and then I got this for my mum when it was on sale for Black Friday and I just thought that would be a cute gift to kind of go with the rocky road theme and then because of that I thought I better get her a new cute mug and she is a cat lover like me. So I found this super cute cat mug at Kmart and I was kind of hoping this was small enough to like fit in there, but it doesn't, but that's okay. I'll just have to wrap it up separately. But I just thought this was really, really cute. And that's kind of like a cohesive little gift that I can give her. And then for my partner, he can certainly be incredibly difficult to buy for because he usually just goes out and buys stuff when he wants it. So it's sort of hard for me to come up with an idea but I just got him a gift voucher for Dimmix because he's always buying books and is in there all the time so I just thought that would be perfect because it's really useful and I just know that that will be appreciated and I also got him something from the daily edited so I know when he has his house keys that they're just I might have to use my other hand oh no I've done it amazing um I 
thought that this would be a really good gift for him because his keys are just like thrown in his bag and I know that guys are like really happy go lucky with that kind of stuff but if I lost my keys it would be literally traumatic so I'm getting him this customized beautiful little keychain and it just has his initials on it he has the matching wallet from this range already so I thought that would be nice that it kind of matches all in with everything and it just means that He's no longer going to be losing his keys in his bag because they will be attached to something a little bit bigger instead. So I thought that was a really nice, thoughtful gift. And yet again, the packaging that these guys put the stuff in is just beautiful. And the last gift is a little bit of a random one, but yet again, when you know your partner, you just know like weird specific quirks that they like are obsessed with. And for him, he loves brushing his teeth. And my dentist gifted me this like little dental kit thing. So it's called D Spa Dentist. And this is their little brand called D Smile and I hope I can open this without like destroying it but basically they do this cute little dental kit and they send you like your floss mouthwash solution there's two toothbrushes some toothpaste and underneath this is like a little tray that it all goes in so thought I would get him his own because he always uses mine at my place and Oh, hang on. There's the picture of it. So it sort of sits like this on your bathroom counter, which I think is super cute. And he's really, really into like brushing his teeth and having super white teeth. So I thought that would be a nice little gift as well. So we don't go too crazy spending like tons of money on each other. I know that some couples are definitely a little bit more extravagant, but we've literally just booked a holiday to go to Byron Bay and the accommodation there is pretty expensive. So that's mostly going to be um, what we do for each other this year, because we'll be going out for dinner and all sorts of stuff. So I think these gifts are the perfect things. So I've got that little pile there and now I'm going to grab all of the wrapping things and we can wrap them up together. So this is present number one and that's what we've ended up with. So I've got the little bauble on top, a little bit of the hessian bag that I trimmed out, the two tones of wrapping paper and just a little bit of that gold ribbon. So it's by no means professional, but I just think it's a really cute little way to dress up some presents when you're wrapping them for your loved ones. Falling, all the windows in the 
last little one that I've wrapped up and I think that looks kind of cute. It was a little cylinder. So I popped on the gold, a little bit of the Hessian. I wrapped a thin bit of the white paper over the top and then I popped on the gold. So now we're all done. I figure I better quickly sit down and outro this vlog before I forget but I hope you guys really enjoyed this fun little video today we got to sit down have a little bit of a chat a little bit of a life update and wrap some presents so maybe even wrapped your presents while you're watching this who knows but I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogmas series and I will see you in the next video bye